Hi, in this video we will discuss our rotate tool but before we do that I want to explain a little bit more about this auto shrink option. Now you might notice that I have selected here more yellow and very little red but when I click on auto shrink it selects the red color. That's because we have a lot more yellow than red. This is how this option calculates what you want to select. So if I select like that, auto shrink and I'll just select this red box here. So if you were wondering why we can select here the yellow, crop to this yellow, this is why. Now let's close this file. Open the file on our rotate tool. Let's just reset my options here. Now, to rotate an image, you have to click on it. Actually, you are not rotating the image, you are rotating your layers. You can also uh, rotate your selection or your path. For example, let's make a quick selection, commit to it, go to our rotate tool, click on selection and rotate that selection. Let's undo that. Uh, in layers, you get to rotate the active layer. For example, I am here on this layer, I rotate this layer. Now what direction means is you get to uh, rotate forward, you get to rotate corrective, backward. Interpolation, that means that the higher you go here, the better rendering options, So, but it takes more time. If you have a fast computer, you can select this. This is the best option for this. Now here in an adjust, I will only explain this. I will not uh, show it because uh, my recording software is creating a lot of, uh, using a lot of my RAM and it crashes. So it just means that when we rotate like that and when we uh, click here, rotate the image, our uh, canvas will expand. So our layer boundary will become uh, to here, here, here and here and we'll get to see this transparency. And uh, if you want to see the whole image, you go to image, fit canvas to layer, and then you will be able to see the whole image. And the background, the areas that are not filled with the image will be indicated with transparency. Now, the next thing clip means that if we rotate this, like that, uh, the image will be clipped to this layer boundary. It will not go outside. The other options are crop to result and crop with aspect. Now here, preview, you can choose to preview in an outline like I'm previewing right now. You can choose to preview in a grid like that. You can choose to uh, the numbers of the grid lines. For example, here you can adjust that. You can also choose the grid line spacing if you want to, you can choose to see the image while you are rotating. You can also choose the image plus grid. Now here you can choose to rotate in uh, at 15 degrees or you can hold your control key and again rotate in 15 degrees. Now when we click to rotate we get this dialog box here when we get to choose the angle, we can select that angle uh, simply by uh, dragging our mouse, but also we can type it here or use our arrows or use this slider here. You can also change the uh, axis of the rotation. For example, right now it's in the middle of the layer, but you can choose to be somewhere else and you can choose the metric system that you're working on pixels, percentages, inches, millimeters, all that. So basically that's all for this tool. See you in this next video.